Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. In this video, I will explain another example on applications of Laplace transform which is used to solve the ordinary differential equations. This is the given differential equation y triple dash minus 3y double dash plus 3y dash minus y is equal to t square into e power t subject to the conditions y of 0 is equal to 1, y dash of 0 is equal to 0 and y double dash of 0 is equal to minus 2. These are known as initial conditions. At these conditions, we have to find the solution of this differential equation by using Laplace transformation techniques. Okay? Here we are observing that given differential equation is a third order differential equation. So, careful. So, once again, please write the given differential equation. Given differential equation is y triple dash minus 3y double dash plus 3y dash minus y is equal to t square into e power t. This is one of the important example in the higher engineering mathematics textbook. That is why this problem is very very important. See. So, apply Laplace transform on both sides. So, you will get L of y triple dash minus 3 into L of y double dash plus 3 into directly I am separating the terms by using linear property minus L of y is equal to L of t square into e power t t square into e power t is the right side function. So, by using the formula of L of y triple dash L of y double dash L of y dash we have to write the formula carefully. What is L of y triple dash? Formula starts with S cube. S cube into L of y minus, next term is decrease the degree of S. It would be S square. So, the next term after L of y is y of 0. Now, decrease the degree which is S only. The next term after y of 0 is y dash of 0. Next, S power 0 is 1. So, next term of y dash of 0 is y double dash of 0. Okay. Next, minus 3 into, write the formula of L of y double dash. S square into L of y minus S into y of 0 minus y dash of 0. Plus, write the formula of 3 is there. 3 into, write the formula of L of y dash. It would be S into L of y minus y of 0 ok minus last term is there do not forget to write the term L of y this is the left side part and what about the right side right side is in the form of e power a t into f of t so we should apply first shifting theorem to evaluate the Laplace of this function ok according to the first shifting theorem on Laplace transform this is nothing but L of e power t sorry L of f of t, it would be t square. In this Laplace transform, we should replace s by s minus a and a value is nothing but coefficient of t here, it would be 1. So, in this Laplace transform, we should replace s by s minus 1 only, do not forget it. So, this is the critical part in the solution. If you write formula perfectly, surely you will get the exact answer. Now, we are going to apply the conditions. What are the given conditions? But given conditions are given conditions are y of 0 is 1. Whenever we have y of 0, we should replace it by 1 only. Do not forget it. Next, y dash of 0 is nothing but 0. We should replace y of y dash of 0 is 0. That is the given condition. And finally, y double dash of 0 is negative 2. So, y dash means here. We have to replace it by 0. Next, here also we have y dash of 0. We should replace it by 0. And by we have to replace y double dash of 0 by minus 2. Do not forget it. So, above equation becomes true. How? First term is same. S cube into L of y s square into y of 0, it would be 1. So, 
next term is only s square into 1 only s square minus y dash of 0 is 0 s into 0 0 y double dash of 0 is minus 2 replace it here minus 2 already minus is there so you will get plus 2 now take this negative 3 to inside minus 3 s square into l of 5 y of 0 is 1 again s into 1 s minus 3 into minus s it would be plus 3 s okay and y dash of 0 is there which is 0 next in order take this 3 to inside you will get 3 s into l of y and here we have y of 0 y of 0 is 1 3 is there 3 into 1 3 negative sign is there negative 3 and final term is minus l of y is equal to l of t square is 1 by sorry it would be what is l of t square 1 by s square according to the formula what is l of t power n l of t power n is n factorial by s power n plus 1 according to this formula here n is 2 so you will get 2 factorial it would be 2 and write s cube here in this one we should replace s by s minus 1 so 2 by s minus 1 whole cube 2 by s minus 1 whole cube next we have to take common of the terms l of 5 from this part and here and here and last one so whenever we have l of 5 L of i terms, we have to take common out the terms. So, you will get L of phi whole into first term is s cube, remaining term is s cube. Here, if we take L of i as a common term, remaining term is 3s square. So, you should write negative 3s square. Next, here we have 3s plus 3s. And finally, here you will get minus 1 and what are the remaining terms negative s square is there if you take this negative s square to right side it becomes positive s square so already we have 2 by s minus 1 2 by s minus 1 whole cube next if you take minus s square to that side you will get positive s square and uh, positive 3s is there it becomes negative 3s next what are the constants 2 minus 3 2 minus 3 is minus 1 if you take 2 minus 3 is minus 1 if you take this negative 1 to right side it becomes positive 1 this is the remaining term okay we need the value of l of y so but we are observing that this is nothing but s minus 1 whole cube form it is in the form of a minus b whole cube what is a minus b whole cube formula a cube minus 3a square b plus 3ab square minus b cube according to that formula this is nothing but s minus 1 whole cube is equal to 2 by s minus 1 whole cube plus s square minus 3s plus 1 do not take the LCM here ok so we need l of 5 2 by already s minus 1 whole cube is there it becomes s minus 1 whole power 6 plus s square minus 3s plus 1 whole by s minus 1 whole cube ok see here l of y is equal to 2 by s minus 1 whole power 6 plus here I will write negative 3s as minus 2s and minus s. So it becomes s square minus 2s plus 1 and write another minus s here. S minus 1 whole cube. So L of 5 is equal to 2 by s minus 1 whole power 6 plus this is nothing but clearly we are observing that it is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. That is why we will write as s minus 1 whole square minus s whole by s minus 1 whole cube now separate the terms here so you will get l of y is equal to 2 by s minus 1 whole power 6 
plus s minus 1 whole square by s minus 1 whole cube whole square whole cube get cancelled so remaining term is only 1 by s minus 1 minus s by s minus 1 whole cube okay see the next simplification this side see now apply inverse laplace transform on both sides so you will get y is equal to 2 is the constant term so you will get l inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole power 6 plus l inverse of 1 by s minus 1 minus l inverse of s by s minus 1 whole cube okay so what about the first part here we can apply the first shifting theorem on inverse Laplace transform to evaluate this type of inverse Laplace. So what is the first shifting theorem? So 2 is here, here we have 1 here, here we have 1. So you can shift this 1 to e power. So you will get e power 1 into t e power t. Now you can remove the 1 from here and write remaining entire term from L inverse. So, L inverse of 1 by s power 6. This is called concept of first shifting theorem on inverse Laplace. Okay. In general, if it is L inverse of 1 by s minus a whole power n, then according to the first shifting theorem, we have to shift this term a to the e power. So, it becomes 2 e power at and eliminate this, this term. So, remaining term is L inverse of 1 by s power n. In this way, we can calculate this type of problems. This is called first shifting theorem on inverse Laplace. What about the next one? It is a direct formula. L inverse of 1 by s minus a. It would be e power t minus. Again, we do not have the formula for this one. To apply first shifting theorem, you should have, whenever we have s, it should be s minus 1 form only. In the numerator, we have only s. We need minus 1 also, that is why I am subtracting 1, 1 and adding 1, whole by s minus 1 whole cube. See the next step. The next step becomes to 2 into e power t according to L inverse of 1 by s power n formula, it becomes t power. What is the formula for L inverse of 1 by s power n? t power n minus 1 by n minus 1 factorial according to this it becomes t power 5 by 5 factorial okay plus e power t is there second part is already completed minus separate the terms this is the first part l inverse of s minus 1 by s minus 1 whole cube so one term gets cancelled in the denominator so you have l inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole square only minus into plus minus l inverse of 1 by s minus 1 whole cube okay so this is implies y is nothing but 2 into e power t into t power 5 by 5 factorial plus e power t into again by using first shifting theorem it becomes e power t into l inverse of 1 by s square minus here also you will get the similar logic L inverse e power t into L inverse of 1 by s cube this time. So, however, y is equal to 2 into e power t into t power 5 by 5 factorial plus e power t minus e power t into t minus e power t into according to this formula L inverse of 1 by s cube is nothing but t square by 2 factorial. So, this is the required solution of the given differential equation at the given conditions ok in the next video i will give some more problems on solving ordinary differential equations by using laplace transforms thank you very much